the nightmare four game losing streak is over for the Raptors. They improved to 10 and 14 on the season with a 135 to 128 win against the Atlanta Hawks. At times it was ugly, at times it was great. But ultimately, the Raptors offense is starting to come around a little bit. Shooting variance has been on our side the last couple of games, and the defense was just good enough in the second half to get themselves this very much needed win. Let's talk about it in tonight's post-game show. So big result for the Raptors. Hawks were also on a four-game losing streak, but... Winner, Genio. The Hawks are a difficult team. Even with the injuries, you know, you've got Trey Young. You've got DeJounte Murray. This is a tough team. Let's take nothing away from the Raptors. Listen, we've lost to some bad teams. So no matter what you think about the Hawks, no matter what you think about their lineup right now, gutty win by the Raptors here. Very much needed. If you enjoyed what you saw, smash that like button. If you enjoyed what you see, smash that like button. And subscribe for more Raptors content like this. We have a post-game show like this. For every Raptors game, watch parties as well on the main channel. So, where did it go right for the Raptors today? Well, I think the demeanor out the gate was massive. To start the game with a bit more aggression was a very welcome sight to see. Not just from a team perspective, but also from a Scotty Barnes perspective. So often this season... Sorry. So far this season, Scotty Barnes has been a player who very much is accustomed to having bigger second halves, and that's putting it nicely. And the biggest reason for him usually having those big second halves is the aggression. He'll come out slow, but in the second half, once he turns it on, turns on the aggression, starts to really hustle to get himself to the rim, that is where you see Scotty Barnes at his best. And we saw that more so from the start of the game today, which was great to set the tone for the Raptors. But also what was big early on, Raptors made it a significant part of their game plan to get Pascal Siakam involved. That was huge. On top of that, Siakam finally really broke his duck from scoring from three, going five of six from three tonight. Five of six for Pascal Siakam. First game with multiple threes for Pascal since early Dece early November. Excuse me. Obviously, the threes have been an issue today, but getting Siakam those downhill looks, setting screens for him, letting him attack matchups, even in a difficult one where Capella's at the rim, Siakam was doing outstanding tonight. 12 of 19 from the field overall. So that was a big deal for the Raptors early on to set the tone offensively and just to make a point of getting to the rim. Like OG goes 10 of 13 from the field. Even better, <laughs> OG goes 8 of 8 on twos today. Some of them are tough twos, but a lot of them, he's getting himself to the rim, finding those high percentage looks. And that is what this team has just not really done enough this season. They have not really grinded to find those high percentage looks, settled for some threes. But, I mean, today, the three ball was cooking as well at the end of the day. So, everything worked out offensively for this team. But uh, defense continues to be a bit of an issue. We allowed for the second straight game 66 points at the half. So, there is an area of concern. I think we're in a little bit of a, a blip in three-point shooting variance, like, like a good one. So once that trims down a bit, we need to figure out how to get stops on defense. But second half was improved. Darko made some adjustments. There was a period in the first half where the Hawks just completely crushed the Raptors. And that was when Malachi Flynn checked in and he had him one-on-one -on -one with Trey Young. Like, I'm not trying to knock Malachi Flynn. He's not a terrific defender. So Darko, why are you putting him one-on-one -on -one with Trey Young? Trey Young cooked in that sequence and gave the Hawks a, a bit of an extended advantage. Second half... The adjustment made. Dennis Schroeder switches on to Trey Young. Dennis Schroeder is always on if Trey Young is on the court. We match up those minutes. The Raptors saw big improvements there. It allowed them to kind of get themselves out to this advantage. And the shooting was there today from enough sources and streaky moments to cash this win in. Siakam 5 of 6, as I said. Gary Trent struggled early, but had a few big threes in the second half. He goes 4 of 8 from 3 tonight. An improved performance from Gary Trent. He still struggles to impact the game other than shooting threes. When he's not shooting threes, he's a problem. In fact, he had no makes for two today. He only had one assist. But just having the three ball, the variance on our side at the moment, is absolutely massive for this team. And we'll give credit to the adjustments made on defense here. Some points in the game where we got caught napping. 
but second half was a good watch. First half kind of sucked the way they played defense. It was still a frustrating watch for the Ra- for the for Raptors fans, in my opinion, just because of the defense not being there. Second half was one of the most watchable sequences I've had for the Raptors in a very long time. That relieves so much stress off myself. You have no idea. Let's go to that box score. I kind of revealed a bit of it, but Siakam, performer of the night, 33 points, 7 assists, 7 rebounds. I mean, you could call Barnes a performer of the night as well. 27 points, 6 assists, 10 rebounds, and 11 of 14 for Barnes. He goes 3 of 4 from 3. OG, no slouch either. 22 points, 10 of 13, 2 of 5 from 3, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal. Schroeder uh, had some sloppy moments on defense, but overall had a good defensive night. 17 points, 7 assists, 3 rebounds on 5-11 shooting is also a welcome sight. The 3 of 4 from 3, big as well. Raptors were just dialed in from 3 tonight. Jakob Pertl goes 5 of 8 for 15 points, 13 rebounds and 6 assists, 3 blocks as well. Two of those key late in the game against Trey Young and Jakob Pertl as well. Clutch free throws late in the gate. Hit four straight clutch free throws late to help extend the Raptors' advantage and get them out to this lead. Pirtle was was very good in the second half. First half, it kind of seemed like, wow, do we have to go small today? Pirtle made sure we didn't have to go small because he continued to have the impact on the game. Achua continues to impress off the bench. I, I'll say I'm not the biggest fan of him, but much better again today. Seven points on two of five shooting. Like, there's been games where he goes 14 and 10, and I say he plays like shit. There's games tonight where he goes 7 and 7, 2 of 5 shooting. I say he played great. Two blocks on defense, had impacts all over the floor. I liked what I saw. Boucher, decent spark off the bench. Um, one thing I actually failed to just recognize throughout the course of the game, Darko trimming down the, the rotation here tonight, deciding to just go with nine guys. His best nine guys, I think it's well overdue that he makes this change, but he does go to that today. Malachi Flynn struggles impact by scoring. Eight assists tonight is good. Didn't do great on defense. Maybe that was more coaching wise, but, you know, continues to provide like the minimum you need from a backup point guard. So we'll give him a bit of credit over there. Trey Young had 20 points and 10 assists at half. So, you know, we cooled him off a little bit. (laughs) Finishes with 35 points and 17 assists, but the Raptors won the shootout here, and it's down to their shooting. A rare sight. The Raptors get out-possessed. The Raptors get out-possessed. They get out-rebounded. They commit more than double the amount of turnovers that the Hawks did. But reverse on the Raptors here. They were absolutely nuclear shooting-wise. 57% uh, from the field, 57.5%, 53% from three. So comes down to making missing shots. Raptors were making them tonight. Not the usual course of action for the Raptors, but guess what? When you've lost four games in a row, you'll take them any way that they come. So upcoming schedule, you have another game against the Hawks coming up. They're like, Hawks will make adjustments. The Raptors likely ain't shooting like this again. So that's going to be a tough game. At home though, Hornets at home Monday, Nuggets at home Wednesday, away at the Sixers on Friday. Not the easiest batch of games, but a win here hopefully puts the confidence in place here. There's been a lot of games this season where I feel like, hey, this win, hey, starts to get the wheels going, starts to build momentum, and it like hasn't done that. So hopefully today is one where we do get that, and we do get that momentum going because this team definitely needs it. But we take it one game at a time, and as far as today's game is concerned, the Raptors got the win. Big time result. Let's keep it moving. 